All right, so um, I'm in the uh, ceiling plan level, and um, just so you, you know, and I think most of you have already addressed this, but uh, it looks like we have uh, a material here, but um, it's just the floor above. Um, so I really need to put a ceiling here. Um, if I want there to be a ceiling that I might put lights into or whatnot. Um, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. Uh, you know, we've already done this, but you know, I think it's good to kind of go ahead and see it again. And I'm just going to um, select the floor so that it locks in. So if I make any adjustments to that floor, my ceiling will also adjust. Okay. I can down I have that locked in, so I'll just move that over. Okay. We have an extra line here. I'm just gonna delete till I get to All right, and I'm going to make that um, just my uh, chipboard wall stud. Okay, so now where is it located in the world? You just go to your section uh, to make sure that it's kind of in the right place. So right now it's dropping below uh, the floor, which if I was to build it and I wanted to have this kind of soffit right here, which I'm not exactly sure why. Definitely want that beam to move over. Okay, so there's the floor. Let's see what we have as far as ceiling plan. Let's see the section makes okay. There it is. Okay, so then um, what we'd want to do more than likely is we would want to associate it with this mezzanine level and then subtract. Because if we decide that we're going to move this up, uh, which it looks like my stairs, uh, that this, this I actually want to move up or the stairs need to move down, uh, I want this ceiling to move with it. So I'm just going to put it here. You can see it's eight foot offset. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Let's put a negative uh, one foot offset. And you can see that now it's riding right kind of um, almost flush. It's probably I need to move it down just slightly more so that the actual surface of the ceiling, if I want to see that finish and I don't want to see what finish was there on the floor, uh, then we can see that. So I'm going to, let's just go back to my 3D view. And we see a few things that I may or may not want. Um, so in each of these assemblies, your floor assembly and your ceiling assembly, you've created a structural kind of system. Um, and if it's just the default, it has a structural system. So right now it's like metal stud wall or layer uh, three and five eighths and then jip board. Um, in this case, because all I'm really trying to show, I'm basically all the structures happening in the floor and all this is going to be is giving me a substrate that I can either attach lights to or that I can see as a different finish. Um, I think what I'll do is go ahead and call this out um, as, as removing this layer. So you can see that, that that went away. And now what we see is just the, the layer of the ceiling. 
Um, the other thing you could do is, is you're just trying to make a plane that, that you can attach lights to, but you want it to really not even show up. Um, so in that case, you would want to put a finish, you'd want to edit your floor so that it had the JIP board, you know, if that's really, if you want JIP, basically, a, you know, sheetrock that you're going to paint, you'd want to add that uh, to to your finish layer and and go ahead and call that out as whatever it's going to be um, five eighths inch and give it the material okay but realize if you do it this way um, it's still part of the floor so it's not going to allow you to attach um to test lights to it okay so you just have to decide you know if you if you if you and if you just if you handled it with the floor what all i would do is is i would make this um the actual ceiling you know very thin and and not seen but as far as Revit's concerned, it would give you something to attach lighting to. Okay, it's either or. But let's take a look at that now in, um, in Inkscape. Like I lost something up there. I think when I inserted and I called it out as finish, basically made the floor completely just this, this finish. So I'm going to go on the other side, create a finish at the top. I'm curious what it'll do. This will be Um, I'll call it three eighths inch, even though I probably wouldn't have flooring that then, just so I add up to one foot. So there you go. Okay, so let's imagine that I wanted the um, the underside uh, to be another kind of wood, what would I do? I mean, essentially, I would just want to change this, the ceiling, right, to be that, that piece. Um, the other thing that you, you might run into is if you have kind of monolithic form, where um, where the the flooring which is what it was doing before that wood flooring was going all the way through you can go into uh, Revit and you can decide to paint um, this surface so you know I've got this orange I'm actually kind of curious of why that's not showing up in this rendering Let's go ahead and let's take a look at this wall a bit.
go. Okay, so let's now just imagine that you're also wanting this surface to get a different uh, color. So we're going to, um, at that point, it's something I showed you a bit ago, but it's probably worth going over again. You're going to use this paint tool and you'd pick the color you want and then you would go ahead and, and paint that surface. So say we just want, this is also JIT board, but we want that, that, that surface. Be that one just because somehow that's kind of tied into my design idea. Okay. Sweet. Okay, that's it, guys.